Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Swamp Start Scenario. Uh, last episode, we were doing a little bit of base work, and I pretty much finished it off. I also said we were going to work on an SV, so I got those parts together. I'm going to show you around a bit. Um, I had a video of me standing around constructing SV parts, and it was extremely boring. I'll probably throw that up on the, the Patreon. Uh, um, uh, wait, I'm going to throw a playlist together for patrons to see all the, the video clippings that I've dumped on the floor. Uh, and I'm just going to throw up some raw footage for, for patrons. Uh, they can they can sift through it if they want. Some of it's some of it's gold. Some of it's uh, n the opposite of gold. I don't know what that would be. What lead? <laughs> it sinks. Uh, so here I'm just giving you a quick little tour here. Uh, moved the generator stuff in here into the ceiling. Uh, you'll notice there's an elevator shaft. I put uh, what I'm going to put here is a furnace uh, and then I'll put some some uh, fencing up to prevent myself from burning myself as I walk through here. I'll probably put some grating underneath there too just to clean that up but uh, yeah and I'll probably not well I might put some cargo boxes that might be what I do and I just put some grating up along the front yeah that's a better idea. I'm going to need the storage. So in here, I put a constructor in. We've finished off the garden. I think you guys have seen this. The, the garden is done. And it's fabricating emergency rations for us right now. We've got pizza. Pizza on the fly. As I'm here at the base, I can make pizzas. And then um, I make as much emergency rations as I can with the rest until it won't make emergency rations. So, yeah, the emergency rations I know are super ultra expensive, but it's just that they don't perish. They they fill you completely up. They heal you for 50, and stamina is pretty good as a one-shot, too. And if you have the time and resources, right now it's kind of like free resources with a garden with solar power. So it's it's not that big of a deal and they it grows fast enough and i've just that small enough garden that it's totally viable make a pizza every once in a while to actually satisfy me while i'm doing base work and make emergency rations so i'm going to show you what i did here uh we're going to take all the stuff up here i've been working up top and what i mean by up top is this the top of this eventually you know, turn a light on and you know it, it, eventually it maybe do wait there is a top to this right it does stop eventually doesn't it Ugh, what the heck? What did I make? <laughs> okay, there's the grate. And eventually we will hear the telltale sign of our door. Right there, somewhere. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm never facing the right direction. Okay, so you see that I've started on the, the wall that is going to protect us as we come out onto our... So this will be a land. Right now, we can use this to build our SV on. You can see we're above the mist, pretty much. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use this to build the SV on. Pretty awesome, eh? A mountaintop landing pad. So this is the plateau top up here. There is some critters sure if we're gonna oh really are you gonna do that thanks 
Okay. There are aggressive dinosaur spawns up on the top of this plateau, but I don't see any around right now. I think I got to get down there a little further before they spawn. Eventually that's going to be leveled. I can actually build way out, way out to the first ridge drop off. So that's really cool. I can, I can actually line this whole thing with a wall. And I think I'm going to a whole, the whole top here, I'm going to line with a palisade. Why not? And then I'm going to change that, but I'll work on that tower. Um, what I want to do is a native kind of motif to it. So while we're here, let's go into our constructor and make a couple of, is it this one here? Is this our constructor? Yeah. Oh, we got lots of stuff built. Woo. Let's get some tools built here. We want the color tool and the texture tool. So let's get those built. We we'll want to make our stuff starting to look like stuff, I think, at this point. Now, I know I have no weapons up here other than what I'm carrying with me. Uh, the reasoning B is the, the first wave of drone attacks has already come and went. And that was the uh, a single drone and then the uh, uh, secondary ta attack wave of two drones. And since then, there has been no base drone or base attack drones attack me because I haven't put any weapons onto the base yet and I think that is I'm pretty sure in my experience that has been what triggers the real waves of drone base attacks and that's putting weapons on your base not just powering up powering it up triggers the first couple and then after that if you you can just hand bomb those whatever use your use your your hv get rid of them not a big deal it's only a couple of small drones usually like we experience but after that if i kept going with with guns if i put a bunch of guns up here we would start getting waves of drones increasingly larger and more difficult and potentially infinite depending on what the the infinite waves like they would just never stop depending on what the play field setting is and I haven't I didn't actually look to see I kind of wanted to be surprised although I I should have made sure that it was inf infinite because I wanted this to be a stupidly hard one so if it's not I may go in and change that to tell you the truth before I trigger the waves I probably will go in and change that so um, yeah, let's get to building this SV now that we've rambled on. I think I can just, you know, I'm going to stand over here. I'm going to face north. Just launch the drone. I'm pretty safe up here unless, a, unless another drone or the patrol vessel comes. If the patrol vessel comes, well, we're... We're going into the tower and fleeing. <laughs> We're going back down into the base and hiding. We'll be safe down there. It's not going to shoot down through that and get to us, but shoot down through the mountain, no. That ain't going to happen. So the sun is way more intense up here, as you can see, although it's overcast. I'm curious to see what our statistics are right now. So we're not... We're not charging, although it's dry. Oh, because it it did charge a bit, obviously. But because we have stuff running, namely that was, and we can turn that off now to help conserve some fuel. And I guess as the light dwindles, we might have to run down stairs and, or you know what? I could probably, we could probably sleep out under the stars tonight and I'll just throw a bed down <laughs> under here or the, or the tent. We can throw the tent right there, right? Do I have it on me? I can grab it. We can throw the tent down in tent, <laughs> tent under the stars. Okay. 
So let's make as much use of the um, sunlight as we can before we got to tent it up. Let's get this down. Put that there. We don't need all this concrete on us right now. We're going to need the blocks. We're going to need that, but later on. Uh, it's just so disappointing how heavy small ammo boxes are. I don't get it, but whatever. Um, it's actually throwing off the weight on my HV, and i got to fix that. It's ridiculous. It's like the most heaviest thing on the vehicle. I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, let's see. What are we going to need next would be probably the stuff, the generators. Okay. So I'm going to make like, I guess I could spawn in. I have a little stand. But I said I was not going to use the Blueprint Factory to spawn anything in. So I'm going to hold true to that. That is going to make it super tough to do this. And I'm just trying to make it as hard as, as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do then is once I put this down, we're going to nuke the core um, I'll put a bunch of blocks going up and then we'll put a new core on and then we'll build out from there we'll just use this as a stand and then we'll get rid of it later so let's sometimes we can get lucky and get the whole core back have you guys noticed that? I, I have got lucky a couple times. Come on! No, didn't get lucky that time. That's okay. That's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're just going to make this elevated. To make it easier to work on. And then what I can do is I can just... I don't need... I got regular steel blocks, good. So let's, I can just leave those in there. Um, let's zap the corner pieces and we'll just extend this out. So we'll make a little pedestal. And now those, st why didn't they stack? Oh, was I nuking them with steel plates? Oh, right, because I can't pick them up. Whatever, that's fine. Whatever. <sighs> derp a derp. That's fine. Doesn't matter. This will be enough. One, two. One, two. Come on. One, two. One, two. Okay, so that should give us a fairly stable pedestal to start our build on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the core on it. Okay, so now when we multi-tool stuff off, we'll get the whole block back. And that gives us our... Um, because I'll be I'll be nuking these blocks eventually, right? So and I want some blocks between the core and and everything else. So so right now, what I want to do is I just want to cover the core. I want to get it nice and nice and covered in in every quadrant. So I want a whole, literally a whole block. between it and everything else. Okay. Um, and then, oh, 
cover it too, obviously. Here we might as well just cap this off, cube it out. Okay, so there's our core cube, I like to call it. It is completely encased in blocks. So what I like to do now is hmm. I think if we have it right here, it should work, right? Because then it pops me out. I'm just thinking to myself where I should put the cockpit. You know what? I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm going to do a trippy crazy build. You know what? No, I'm not going to put those there. This is going to be where the bucket is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's got to go up one more. So, so we can do the bottom right there. And I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do is put the floor, so I want the floor double thick, and I'll give that double thick right there, and then I only need two blocks on the bottom, so we're going to come out with the floor. that so that means the this is where this is where the front is going to be right there okay so let's just stick that out a bit there okay and then well that means the all the other stuff is going to come back here like the warp and all that. Um, yeah. So now, is that going to be flat on there? I think it has to be because I need that to come all the way. Like that. <clears throat> I might put up a symmetry plane here. I just don't know where I'm going with this, really. I kind of got something in my head. I'm just not sure if it's going to work. Okay, so what I want to do is encase the cockpit in a bulkhead. I know it sounds weird, and this is looking really weird. Just, I mean, this is just all the armor on the inside of it. That's that's all this is going to be. It's all bulkhead. You're not going to see any of this. It's all going to be buried in behind whatever, however I skin it. Okay, so we need we need the cockpit, and it's getting really dark, right? So let's let's throw the tent up. We're gonna grab it. It's in one of the cargo boxes. I gotta label these things. There it is, right there. That's cool. 
Uh, here, we'll just throw that up here for a sec. And we'll just do our tent really quick here. And there we go. It's sunlight. And let's see how much this thing lost in... Oh, it's still got some battery life. Wow. How did that even happen? What? I thought it was consuming more than it... Okay. No, it's charging it right now. Okay, sweet. So, it didn't consume its entire bet. I'm, hmm, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, although some of the fuel is gone. But I remember that before, the fuel was, a little bit was nibbled on. And now we're charging again. And have nine hours or so of, of it charging. So, wow. I guess the solar panels are are way more effective than they used to be. So that's good. And I'm also more north. I, I've been trying to build bases more north. Because that seems to be, if it's got a northern tilt to it, the planet seems to have a longer day to it if you're more north. And you get more sunlight. So let's put that away. We'll grab that again. Okay. Um, so the cockpit. Let's do something. It's going to be one of these because I can't. Although that would be kind of cool. It's just, it's too wide. And so that's an even number. It's really hard to make really cool stuff with an even number. I, I find that, I mean, if you're going to do an even number, that's all fine and dandy. They've got a couple of them that work good for even numbers. I think all the rest are odd. Yeah. Either one, three, one or three. So, so these are the only two that are an even number. You know, you can put two cockpits in, I guess. It, kind of weird but you can put ones to the side too and that's fine uh, personally I'm gonna go with a single one now this one is an, an older rickety style looking one I like this one it's a little bit more modern luxurious looking so let's go with that <laughs> I mean the rickety the rickety works, kind of, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to put it there, and that'll allow me to put even more bulkhead in front here, which is awesome. Okay. So, let's fill this in. And again... I know it looks ridiculous right now, and you're thinking, why Why are you filling in that? I'm like, well, this is going to force me, it's going to eject me out into the back every time. It actually works pretty good. I mean, I got no window, but I'll just be doing it in third person. I like flying stuff in third person better anyway. I can see more. I got a better peripheral vision. Um, so I can avoid more. When I'm in first person, I can't avoid as well, I find. Might be just me, but whatever. Um, I'm just wondering how I should do this. We've got... I want at least one other layer. Do we start angling that up right there then? that and start putting and then we'll have we'll have landing gear off of wings 
Maybe some big freaking wings. Maybe we'll make a big clunky. I don't know about big clunky. Uh, maybe just the wings will be big clunky. Let's taper this. I think I want to do this. I think I really want to. I think I really want to. And you know what? I think I should start doing the... Oops, we're going to do it Come that way. That way. I should probably put the... Um, Put the symmetry plane up before I go too much further so that I'm not doubling up on what I'm doing. I'm going to need way more blocks. Oh my god. Okay. Um, like not even freaking close to enough. Now let's put this stuff in there out of me or out of my inventory uh da, 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 so that means how much i could probably make quite a bit yeah i've got yeah okay lots of steel plates lots of hardened steel plates so sv that one's only good for hvs would be nice but way heavier so we're gonna do three Let's get 300 going here. Get them spinning up. Makes them really fast, at least. So that's good. Because we're going to fry them up pretty quick here by the look of it. Okay, so, symmetry plane. Symmetry plane, we'll do a YZ right there. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to continue up. We'll pop out brick, we'll pop out blocks for thrusters later. And I'm going to go with the exposed thruster look because. I want to get used to having exposed thrusters built on my stuff because I, I have a feeling that they might change that in the future and I want my designs to be already incorporating that. What I mean is change in the future is by covering them up. Uh, it might restrict their thrust or cause overheating or blah, blah, blah. So um, I don't want to be caught with, with designs that are invalid because of that. So, so if I start building them that way right now, incorporating that thought process into my designs, then my PVE vehicles, I don't really make PVP vehicles because I don't PVP that much. I mean, you know, it exists on multiplayer servers, but I do play single player a lot more than multiplayer. Um, okay, so we're getting a good boat haul going. Um, not really sure if that was what I was going for, but sure. Oh, let's pull that back. And hmm. So where is the center going to be? comes down you know what this one comes off yeah
Okay. Sorry, just uh, mumbling to myself while I build this. Okay. And then... I think now I should be able to put thrusters here without killing me, right? I could have probably poked these out. And I probably... St actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because I think I do want to put thrusters here. Now, they are airtight. That's interesting. Hmm. Can we choose? Nope. When I right-click, I do not get any menu item. So, let's flip these. I want these ones facing down. And then, they do have a taper thing there. I think we can kind of match that up a bit. We'll spin this, then, to do that. Right? It's a bit of a Kind of a taper, right? Or should I go like the no? Cause that see then it now that that works better. Okay, so we've got <sighs> right there. Did it put it? Oh crap! I forgot to remove all those. Okay. So that was stupid. Got to remember to do that if you've got the symmetry plane happening. That way it will place all that correctly. Now, where did I, which one did I do that on? That one? Okay. So, it's there we need, I'm just looking for balance, right? So this is going to come out quite a bit more by the look of it. I know it's a big block of crap right there for the core, but I just don't want it might core getting shot out. That is three blocks between it on the bottom. It's only going to be two on the top. Eh. It's going to be more getting shot at from below anyway. Okay, I, I don't mind that. So where do you think the center is? Should we, should we say the core might be at the center? So if we do, if we pop that out, Should still be facing that direction. And then that should have put it the correct way that way. Yep. Okay. Just making sure that the symmetry plane is working correctly. Okay. I mean, it's not the cleanest looking, but whatever. And then we've got what, five, six between. So it's going to be coming off here. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult because of the there. Oh, had it for a sec. Come on. There we go. Not sure well how balanced that's going to be, but we'll see. I still got stuff to hang out the back here a little bit more. So this is not going to be a rear entry. This is just going to be a box top. I have an idea for some stupidness for that. Um, 
I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see how the weight goes on this. I might be pushing it already. But we'll see. Okay, so we probably got to put the warp drive down now, I would think would be a good time to do that. So let's grab that. Oops. Not looking at that. Where are you? There you are. And how's those blocks? Excellent. That in there. Uh, let's grab those because I grab, made some extra ones. We're gonna need stuff like that, that stuff that gets buried, right? Okay. I mean that. Yeah, it's okay burying that because I just I'll just access that from the cockpit. It's, I'm not gonna worry about filling it up from the back or anything like that so this should fit right there yep okay and then then what then what we need all the other crap we can just start laying it on top I think but we want it balanced so let's seriously look at this now because I've I was really astonished at the weight differences on a bunch of stuff. So this is 500 kilogram for one tank. Oh, why doesn't that give its weight? One ton. Ooh, see? So, so we got to do an even distribution of each thing let alone let alone just space see what i'm saying if we can make sure that we have that kind of crap balance side to side front to back even i don't know how we're going to do the front to back that's 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 going to be impossible i think um so i think the real heavy heavy stuff we want to we want to push right up against the core. So we want to get as centered as possible, right? The real heavy stuff, we want to put right to the center because that'll, that'll help balance it better. If we just put all the heaviest stuff right in the dead center, we can balance it easier. Okay, I think, should we, should, I could do one up because this is going to be covered on the top or, or should I pull it forward hmm because I kind of want to keep that cover that's going to be one two I'm just sorry I'm just doing math in my head right because I Hmm, not really, it's really freaking heavy. They're super, super heavy, super, super heavy. Won't be much of a skin covering that. It'll get shot at maybe, oh well, you know what? I need to keep the, the weight forward, right? I gotta get that centered. I need to keep that as centered as possible. Uh, because that's ridiculous. A, a, a ton, so that's 500 kilograms. Or was it, wait, one, is that a kiloton? One ton. So that's pounds. That's, that's just under... One thousand kilos, right? A ton, a regular ton. Okay, so hmm. It's not that it is still pretty freaking heavy. <sighs> okay. 
That's fine. I, did, I didn't actually look at to see how heavy this was. Well, it's really light for its size. It's really light for its size. And what are blocks? How much do blocks weigh? 32 kilos. So... The warp drive is... Yeah. It's about the same weight per block as a um, steel block, as a as one of these hardened steel blocks, I should say, a full one. Okay, so so really, it it equals just regular blocks. Okay. Uh, but everything else is substantially heavier than a regular block. So that's going to throw that weight portion to the back more already. I think even without stuff coming off the back, uh, extending out as far as off, off the front right now, it might actually already be balanced because... These are heavier and they're slightly off center. So I got to keep that in mind. I, this might be more balanced than it looks at that point. So now as I add stuff, which is heavy, heavy, heavy items, which, um, which were these again? 500 kilograms. So half the weight of a small ammo box, but still 250 kilograms per block space, which is substantially, which is about eight times higher than a regular steel block. So, so this, this fuel tank per block space weighs about eight times more than what the warp drive and a regular block does. Uh, now the generators are even more um, heavier. Okay, so I think we want to put these as far to the middle as possible also. Two left. Where can we put those? I guess we could stand them up right there. Put them there, but then, no, they won't be, ex we won't see those because they're, although I might get a little bit radiated by one, meh, it's minor, the, the, the radiation from those are really minor, you know what, that's not bad, let's do that, let's do that, keep the, keep throwing a little bit of weight forward sometimes if we can, okay, so, the idea is, if you if you can get a good balance between all of your gear, you'll get more uh, impact, and um, it'll be more efficient. You'll get you'll use less fuel, and it'll go faster. So you you'll have a better experience with it, and it it should fly better too. It should handle better. It should respond better better. Okay, so now what we need is probably some RCS. So where did I put those? Those are still on the... Did I even make any? Did I not make any RCS? Oh my god, are you kidding me? What a derp. Okay. Um... HV, SV, here we go. Optical fiber, okay, so it just takes regular stuff. Okay, that's fine. So 
double checking to sure make sure I didn't make any. I don't think I did. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I should go with like ten or six. Why did it only? Okay, it, it capped out at six. We'll see what six is like. <clears throat> Okay, well, at least we'll get some thrown in right away here. So I'm thinking there, and because that'll pitch the a bit of weight forward too, right? Keeping it fairly centered, but still a little bit forward. Because it's going to get really weighty back there. There's going to be. There's just going to be weight. <laughs> There's going to be weight. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get our stuff. So. It's almost done here. While we're in here, let's just quickly go into the food processor. And eat a pizza. We'll get another. Oh, we'll get a burger cooking then. We'll grab these emergency rations. So we've got uh, a full stack of emergency rations now. That's awesome. And plus. So, and then we can just keep making burgers while we're here. And then we'll go pick the garden in a bit. But that'll be later. That'll be later. I think we're going to call it an episode pretty quicker. Um. And we're going to do a second part to finishing this off. We're just going to fill in some of the stuff here. I have to put this, figure out where to put this crap. Uh, okay, we'll do it there. I wanted to put the RCS as close to center too. Oh, that's what I was going to look at, the, the weight of those too. So those are 250 kilogram. So, so pretty heavy, about the same as a fuel tank for um, weight per block. Okay, three kilowatts in, not too bad. Energy use is pretty minimal, actually. That's not too bad. Okay. Well, guys, that's the start of our flying brick. It's not going to look like a flying brick when it's done, but I'm, I'm going to try and keep it balanced as much as possible. I think that's the key is going to be keeping it balanced. Well... Thanks for joining us. Next episode, we'll continue working on this thing. Um, and as the sun goes down, I bid you adieu. <laughs> you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.